Are you thinking of buying a house? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about the 10 steps you need to know before you buy a house. So stay tuned. So you're thinking of buying that house. Well, let me show you how easy it is and I'll go through the 10 steps of how to do it. I have so many people calling me all the time because of my videos and I absolutely love it. And I've also helped so many families get into their dream home. So if you're thinking of buying, make sure you reach out to me via text or phone number. And I'm so excited to meeting you real soon. What's up, Kelly? What the... Where did I winter know. come from? <laughs> out of nowhere. It is bloody storming out there. It's terrible. Look at that. <laughs> Leaving my footprint in the water. It was so nice yesterday. I guess winter had to show up. What are you doing? I know. Be blessed. Ooh. We're Ooh. quarantined inside. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Uh, so. Get ready for this. Absolutely. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Hey, what are you doing here? I live here. <laughs> cool. What's up? Actually, no, I don't live here. Oh, you don't live here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in your house. You're in my house. So, what the heck are you doing in my house for? I just showed up. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, you're the man to ask. Yeah, what's going on? Well, I love your house. I want to buy a house like this, but I've never bought a house. Cool, I love that. I know. You want to buy a house? I do. You want to buy a house? Is this, is it? I wish I could say it online, so I think I just did. Kick-ass house. So, cool, love it. What do I need to know? What What should I do? What do I need to look at? Okay. I have so many questions. Super Help me. Easy. I don't know, there's a couple steps. We'll say there's 10 steps, roughly. Okay. First thing you got to do is talk to a mortgage broker or a banker, a mortgage specialist, either one of them that can help you get a mortgage. Uh, the whole reason for that is to get your pre-approval. And the reason why you want to get your pre-approval is to know exactly what you can qualify up to in terms of um, how much mortgage, in other words, how much of a home you can buy, whether it be a home for 200,000, 400,000, half million, I don't know, million dollars, 10 million. So that that's very, very important. Okay. Oh, never thought about that. I thought you could just go look at a house and put in an offer or whatever that is. What do you care? You're doing it backwards. And I, I, I first thing I do is talk, talk to a banker. So, okay. okay. I appreciate that. Second thing you, it's probably a good idea to actually reach out to a realtor because um, the whole purpose of talking to a realtor first is for them to understand exactly what type of home you want, um, what's important for you, whether you want three bedrooms, I don't know, maybe 10 bathrooms, um, if you want a swimming pool, a helipad, just kidding, um, or uh, the different styles of a home uh, in terms of the location where you want to be, whether you want to be in a place where it's close to your work or whether if you have children, you want to be close to certain schools. So in my opinion, it, it, it's the next step is to really reach out to a realtor uh, and this way they can help um, orchestrate and show you homes and put everything together. So uh, that's the next thing. Uh, now, the third thing I would do is to physically go look at the homes you need to uh, until you look at the homes I know nowadays you have everything online you can see a lot of the photos uh, some of them might even have virtual tours but honestly I'd recommend that you go look at the homes physically for a couple reasons you get to know what the area is like okay number two you get to um, get a feel for the layout and even, you know, unless you've got a crazy good imagination, some people do, but I, I still feel that if you go look at the home physically, um, just to, to get a feel for the space also, 
where everything is. If you want something that's got more of an open layout, a closed layout, there's all these different factors. So that's the next thing. And the best advice on that is to have an open mind. Um, sometimes you might think that you want a single level home, but when your realtor shows you another home in a different location where it's maybe uh, three levels, um, it's got a different layout where you never even thought about, but the second you see it, what if you just love it? What if? So have an open mind, okay? I like that, you know, sometimes what I think might be good might not be. My yeah. wife, definitely, we have different opinions on, oh, absolutely. you know, you how bet. do we want stairs? I've always wanted an upstairs. Upstairs. But, you know, with an exercising. elevator? That, well, an elevator would be great. That would be awesome. You know are what? there houses like that? There actually are. You know what I haven't seen yet, though? Hmm. An escalator. That'd be pretty cool, eh? Ooh, Imagine can you that. find me one? <laughs> I don't know if we have one here. Might have to build one. So, anyways. There's always that, too. There is. So, uh, where was I again? Oh, yeah. Physically looking at homes. So, now that you've, you've looked at homes, um, when you do find a home, uh, I always remind my clients to put pen to paper. What that means is uh, you want to fill out the contract. Uh, a couple important things uh, people should know is the names of the buyers and the sellers. You want to know who you're buying it from. Uh, typically, you want to negotiate on the prices, uh, when you move in, and any conditions and terms. And lastly, the deposit. And I always remind people that, look, it's it's good to actually submit your, your offer in as soon as you can because imagine this. Let's say you go, okay, you know what? I want to wait a week. I want to go look at some more homes, but I, I really like this home, okay? What if after a week, someone else put in an offer before you and they got the home from under you? How would you feel? Oh, Not very good, right? So that's why I always remind my clients, look, if you do, you know, let's say even if you 80 to 90% like a home, submit the offer, make sure you negotiate on it. Um, and, and here's what's important. You got to make sure that everything has been finished negotiating where both you and the seller has agreed up on everything. And one of the key things, aside from having agreed upon, you want to make sure that the seller has physically signed the contract. Because even if, let's say, they have agreed upon everything and they haven't signed anything in real estate, verbal means nothing. I'll tell you a story. Years ago, I was actually representing a, uh, a seller and an offer came in. We actually had finished negotiating and my client said, hey, look, Eric, I'm gonna go hunting. He went hunting for a couple days, really hard to get a hold of them. By the time I got a hold of him, his wife got into the picture and she said, no, nope, she's not happy with that price. She wants a higher price. So now we gotta go back and renegotiate again. Uh, luckily, we managed to put everything together but, you know, it, it, it sucks that after you feel that, hey, look, everything's finished negotiating and, you know, all of a sudden they, they, they take back what they said they're going to do and you've got to renegotiate again. So keep that in mind. Okay. So what happens if I put in an offer? Yes. And then I take the week and I go look at other houses and I find something else I'd rather have. That is What great... happens with that first one? Am I stuck to it? That's a really good question. So typically... If you really like a home, I'm still gonna say that, submit the offer, okay? Uh, your two ways of getting out typically is, of course, let's say you, do, you know most people have their home inspection clause and financing clause, okay? And if for whatever reason, you really find another one, then of course, you've got the conditions, you know, technically you could back out. It's not a very nice thing to do. Uh, but from my experience, I'm going to tell you that majority of the time, if you, by the time you submit an offer and you finish negotiating and you look at other homes, I'm going to say that chance of you finding a home that you like more, the chance is there, but over the years of selling real estate, I'm going to say the percentage is very low. You always compare other homes and when you, by the time you come back to it, majority of the time you go, you know what, still love my home. So hopefully that answers your question. Well, that definitely helps because okay. 
for me. Sometimes I could always change my mind. Absolutely. So I like to shiny, shiny. You oh, know, for sure. Get... For sure. I think it's normal. Here's um, one thing that a lot of people don't know. You actually go through what's called a buyer's remorse. So from the time you've submitted the offer and also that you, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm thirsty. Give me a, follow me. Are you going? <laughs> okay. Back here again. Gonna have my tea. What kind of tea? Mm. What's your favorite? Don't really have a favorite, but I usually like mine with a little cream, some sugar. I, I think that makes it a latte, doesn't it? I think so. I think so. Okay, well, I like lattes. So, <laughs> cool. So, anyways, going back to. Uh, did I mention buyer's remorse? That's okay. what we we're talking about. That's what we're talking about, exactly. So, with the buyer's remorse, you're going through a set of emotions where it's it's exactly what you mentioned. You're going to think, hey, look, did I pay too much for the home? What if there's another home out there better than this one? And you're doubting yourself. And honestly, I remember when I first bought a home, I went like, never mind the first time. Every time I buy a home, I go through the same set of emotions. And honestly, you just need to let your emotions kind of accept it, let it run through your body. And by the time you've got your financing, you've done your home inspection, everything's good. And the day I hand you the keys, you're gonna be elated. You're gonna be on cloud nine. You're gonna be super pumped and, and happy about that. Um, so just know that it's, it's, it's a normal set of feelings, okay? Uh, next thing. Um, so once you've got that, oh yeah, so once you finish negotiating, um, this is where you have that stage where you need to get your financing approved, okay? Okay. And usually if you, like a lot of mortgage, I've dealt with a lot of bankers and depending on how quickly you've submitted all the documentation to your uh, banker, uh, they can take anywhere from, the quickest I've really seen was to get something approved within six hours. Wow. All the way up to a month. On average, I usually put seven to ten days for your financing clause and your home inspection. And that's a time period where you need to make sure you get your financing approved. That's also the timeline that you need to do your home inspection. And once everything is being satisfied, the next step is you actually need to sign off. You sign a piece of paper saying that, uh, your home inspection and your financing has been satisfied and you're prepared to proceed with the sale of the home. Then the next thing you do is you wait. Again. And you wait. And you wait a little bit more and you're anticipating all of that. And finally, you'll get a call from your lawyer to um, ask you to set up an appointment to go sign all the papers um, and there's two ways of doing it so sometimes your uh, banker might send all the documentation to your lawyer so you can sign it all in one go some bankers actually want you to sign the papers first and then when you meet your lawyer you're signing it a second time so there is no right or wrong way of doing it it all depends on uh, your banker typically uh, but you do need to meet your lawyer to sign off papers. And um, once you've done that, guess what? Usually your move-in day is typically around the corner. And that's when your realtor brings you 
your keys, congratulate you, and it's just so exciting. So hopefully that answers your question. That does. Is it pretty clear? You made it seem very, very simple, not as overwhelming as I thought. Yeah. And you're going to be with me all, all the way, help me through Absolutely. this. Absolutely. You betcha. So. Okay. Cool. Let's go house shopping. Let's go. Let's go. If you like this video, please make sure you smash that like button and please subscribe. This way, when I make future videos, you won't miss out.